Good day, welcome to product one self-help series. Today we are going to be looking at how to create a batch file that will help you to start and uh, to start your LM admin services in case your career is not working. So this is only applicable when you've got a FlexNet license, not applicable to when you have got a locked license. So as you know, when you've got the FlexNet license, you use FlexNet. Um, uh, to run the license and it creates a service called LM admin uh, underscore PTC. So let's have a look at uh, what's going to happen. I'm starting Creo. I'm expecting that the license is going to fail. The reason why the license is going to fail is because the service, the service has stopped. And usually your services stop as a result of you switching off your PC or sometimes your PC going to sleep. So that is the common uh, situation that causes this. So you will see that our license has failed, as I've mentioned. So now what we want is that we want to look for a service, right? So when you go to the service, we are looking for this service called lmadmin underscore ptc. Generally, you will start this service here. Yeah? And then it will solve the problem. So here I want to show you a quicker way to fix this problem. So we are going to create a new document. We actually want it to be um, to be a batch file. So what I will do, we we'll go to the properties of the services just to get the name. So the next thing that we are interested in is to uh, stop the service and then uh, start the service. So type net stop element in underscore ptc or then uh, net start. Okay, and then from there we can save that. So what we can do, we can rename this. I usually call it flexnet. Okay, and then remove the txt and make it dot batch because it's a batch file. Okay. Then we are happy with that. Next thing we are interested in is to run this as an administrator. Okay, so we run that as an administrator and then it will start the service. After the service has started, we are expecting Creo to, to work. Okay, So this will help you in terms of solving most of your license problems that you will typically encounter. So I recommend that you please try this. Uh, before you log a support case with us. So as you can see right now, the service has started and Creo is working. Thank you very much for watching.